Okay, next subject uh, to discuss is drinking water and how to test it. I want to do another video on water purification, um, but this is to actually test the quality of your water. Now, in America and in England, um, we've got different acts and different regulations. In America, you've got the Safe Drinking Water Act, and in the UK, we've got the DWI, which is the Drinking Water Inspectorate. Now, both have got very different ways of measuring and testing water supplies. Um, I've just poured some water here from my tap. Uh, so in the UK, we, like I said, we've got the DWI, and every quarter they publish their results, and you can read the results online. And it will basically, they explain, you know, what microbacteria and what viruses are, are, are actually in the water. So I had heard that there was a report, um, you know, and it's quite a scary one, to say that there was, you know, 97 microbacteria found. This isn't what I read, it was what I heard. Um, and there were seven forms of, sorry, 12 forms of antibiotics found in the water. Um, ethromycin, amoxicillin, obviously, because, you know, we don't have an infinite supply of water. So we're, we're drinking recycled water that other people have used. And of course, out from that, you know, you get all of these things like, um, you know, we've, we've got remnant, remnants of the pill um that the women take um to stop them from getting pregnant we've got antibiotics that everybody takes to stop them from getting sick um and we've got uh you know microbacteria now i'm going to do this like, like i said a separate video on how to treat your own water because i've read a lot about that too and scientific studies but this is just to check your own drinking water so um the last report i read for the uk for the quarter of two the last quarter of 2019 sorry q3 of 2019 was not actually that bad. Um, it found E. coli and iron and lead and heavy metals in, you know, like 12 or 15 different taps for each bacteria and each metal. It's not really that, that, that bad if you think about it. So I do think it's a good idea just to test because if you do have high metal levels, it's very bad for your body, very bad for your brain. So you might as well just uh, test these uh, for really simply. So you pour your water from the tap. Um, and I've got these strips. So um, they're just pH. So pH stands for uh, power of hydrogen. Um, and it uses, um, it's the pH scale, as you know, goes from zero to, or as you may not know, goes from zero to 14. Uh, in the middle is where, you know, is neutral pH. Um, and it basically uses, so H, the hydrogen is actually using, uh, it's looking for the content of a hydrogen ion which is a normal hydrogen atom um, without the electron spinning around it. So if I've got this pH paper, I can basically put this in and it's cleverly done to check all of these. I can see that. Can you see that? No, probably not. Uh, we've got iron, copper, fluoride, chlorine, total hardness, carbonate, total alkalinity, pH, etc., etc. Et so if I put this in, hold it in for 10 seconds, um, and then just wait and basically I just simply align it up and it would tell me the content of what's in my water uh, at home so I've already done this and um, it's actually up the wrong way um, so you can see the top two are zero so that's really good that means that there's no chlorine uh, there's no iron which is very very good um, the pH is pretty good, around 7. pH works on a logarithmic scale of 10. So pH 1 is 10 times higher than pH 0. pH 2 is 10 times higher than pH 1. pH 2 is 100 times higher than pH 0. So it's logarithmic increase of uh, increments of, of 10. Um, and um, it's just really good to know, you know, what is in your drinking water. Because if you are high or low in any of these uh, uh, metals, you know, you don't want to be taking iron if your iron or your ferritin levels are already increased. Um, so uh, also fluoride, you know, people want to know if there's fluoride in their drinking water, carbonate, mercury, nitrate, nitrate, lead, copper, free chlorine. Um, so, yeah, I'd highly recommend that. Uh, and to know whether your water um, has got any contaminants in or whatever. I would say not to worry about the coronavirus too much uh, in drinking water because they do treat it both the US and the UK 
treat the reservoirs and the drinking water uh, with with heat treatment processes where they've got their own treatment processes to kill viruses. So that's uh, one good thing not to worry about.